Good afternoon, Israel Baseball League. This summer, we are starting a new league, and a league in Israel. Putting those two words together, baseball and Israel, that before nobody really had put together. The challenge in Boston was to bring a World Series championship because they hadn't had one in 85 years. They haven't had baseball in Israel in over 5,000. The question, of course, is why a guy in the bakery business decides he's going to create the Israel Baseball League. I was looking for something to do for the Israeli society. We've chosen professional baseball. We got ex-professional players, kids that have been out of college for a couple of years, and vary in age from 17 to 48. It's the uh, not wanting to grow up, the Peter Pan syndrome. I'm 40 years old, married with three kids. My mom, she kind of feels neglected. She feels like she's a baseball widow. In here, he's still 12. He's just that boy on the street, ringing all the bells. Come on, everybody, let's go play. This is a knuckleball, Israel. Getting the chance to play baseball again, it's like getting a second chance at something most people don't get a first chance about. My dad did not talk much about fighting in the Six Day War. He was a modest man. Now that we're playing in Israel, the connection to my father is so much stronger. So I understand that you are a Jew and you are not even no, close no, today. No. Okay. When I was uh, 11 years old, I went to a church and the preacher, he told me that God told him that I was going to play baseball in front of his people. Well, here I am, so it turned out to be true. The Israel Baseball League will become the International League of Choice for players from all over the world. Adam Crabb, I'm 22 and I'm from Adelaide in Australia. My name is Edward Astasio, I'm a major pitcher of Derecho. Nihara Nihonji, I'm from Japan. Kit Kat? Kit Kat. Mayim? No, Mayim. Mayim. Ah, Mayim. Mayim. What water? We knew from the beginning that we were against some uh, difficult odds. People won't come to watch. I don't know about baseball because I live in Israel. This one is hit, one is, uh, I don't know how to say that. I had no idea the enormity of the task. Other than uh, players, facilities, coaches, and fans, we got everything else. <laughs> what you want here from the messenger? Don't wanna know about something that you don't understand. You got no fear of the underdog. That's why you will not survive. Right? Oh, oh, oh. I don't want to be pessimistic, but I'm a Jew, so I have to be pessimistic. This is crazy. Next time I have an idea, just please tell me not to do it. If nothing else, this would make my mother extremely happy.